What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're checking out Juju Smith-Schuster, wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers, my favorite team, and one of my favorite players in the NFL as well. I know we got a lot of hate this past season with TikTok and us losing in the playoffs to the Browns and things like that. And because of all the hate he got, people are starting to look at him as overrated, which in my case is the complete opposite. He's really becoming underrated as a wide receiver. We'll look at his stats over the past four years. His rookie year, he had 900 yards. His sophomore year, or second year, he had 1,400 yards. That's when he made uh, the Pro Bowl. That's when he really started looking like a wide receiver one, and that's why Antonio Brown left. Then 2019, he ended up having an injury season, only having over 550 yards. And in this past season, 831 yards with nine touchdowns. It wasn't bad of a season, especially, you know, with sharing the ball with Chase Claypool, Deontay Johnson, Eric Ebron. A lot of people were expecting him as this number one wide receiver, and that's why he has all this pressure, has all this hate. He's not the number one wide receiver. He's the number two wide receiver. He's probably one of the best number two wide receivers in the league, but he's just not good enough to be number one. And that's why people call him overrated, but he's not overrated. He's just not in the right system. If the Steelers use him in the right system and have him at number two wide receiver, then he could really have a great season, a great career like he just had last season. Yeah, I love Juju, I always will. I plan on buying a jersey of Juju, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these highlights. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, enjoy. So these are from the past season. I, I was trying to find some career highlights, but this is his first touchdown. He had two touchdowns this night. I was trying to find his career highlights because obviously he had a great highlights his first two years in the league, but no videos on his career highlights that were good at least. He looked so good that Giants game. I know James Conner got hurt that game and then Benny Snell went in, but Benny Snell I think had over 100 yards rushing, so our run game, our whole offense was looking good, our defense was looking good, we were, we were looking real good that year. He had a lot of those plays this year where it looked like he could fall short of the first down, but since he was so strong, so big, he got that first down. If anybody was paying attention to him in the offseason, he was lifting. He was getting big. Broke a lot of tackles this year. Definitely was hard to bring down. Gets me mad though thinking about how great we started. 5-0, and we beat Tennessee right here. He had a big game this uh, game. I don't know if he had 100 yards, though, but he had it close to that. See what I'm saying? Like, he gets those first downs. But, like, that's the perfect receiver that he is. Those drags, those quick slants, those little five and outs, five and ins. He's not a deep threat, but he's literally a slot receiver, a big, strong slot receiver. That's why I'm happy we have Chase Claypool, who's our deep threat. He's gonna be, he's gonna be a serious problem. Anybody who's not biased, well, anybody who just pays attention, who doesn't have, let their hate get in the way of the Steelers, will realize Chase Claypool and Juju, they're a good duo. So I'm saying that's what he's perfect for. Look at that. Look at that strength that he gets to fight for the first down. Those little quick passes are perfect for him. Yep. He gets right up too. Look at this right here. Trucks a player, gets him for the touchdown. That's all strength right there. Now I know, like right here, trying to dance on the logo. That's what people will hate him for. I mean, it's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. Obviously, he learned his lesson. I hope he doesn't do any TikToks. This, uh, or doesn't just bring any attention to himself this this season, this upcoming season. Now that he resigned, which I'm really happy about. The 
Touchdown. That's when Big Ben was looking like an MVP or a comeback player of the year. And he went downhill after the Washington game. So I'm saying, like, look at that. I mean, I remember he made a big deal about that, though, too. Posted on Instagram, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Like, imagine getting stiff on by a, a TikToker or something. Of course, everybody hated it. Acting like he, he didn't have any proof to back it up. Scores a touchdown right here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He has fun. I knew it was going to come back, though. It was going to come back in a bad way. Play action, and he finds Juju Smith Schuster. Good game for Juju to midfield. And he's been the one hot receiver here for Pittsburgh. Shotgun and somebody go get over. Sim, that's what he's perfect for, though. On those five yard and ends, those goal lines, he's perfect for those. Climbs a bit closer. Third and six. Dead. Wide open target. It's Juju. Didn't have the best game uh, this game. Nice. I'm acting like I'm just watching this for the first time, too. That Colts win was huge, though. Should have won the Browns game. Pretty sure if we would have won this, we would have never had a face of Browns. In the playoffs, would have been a completely different scenario, maybe. In this game, he didn't play bad. I mean, it, obviously it was late, but he didn't play terrible. Gets in the end zone there from a drag, you know what I mean? Instead of getting caught in the middle, Juju keeps going. I hope we do something this year. I mean, we're losing so many defensive players. I don't know how we're going to be it. I don't know how our team record's going to be. Juju, I'm expecting him to be like an 800-yard receiver again. Seven, eight touchdowns. But I see Chase Claypool going for a 1,000. Maybe even potential pro ball from Chase Claypool. At the six-yard line by Smith Schuster, 495 yards. Oh, ben too. I don't know how he's gonna do. He should have just retired this year. <laughs> oh, that is the Juju video of highlights. First time reacting to him. I thought I'd react to him, you know, earlier when I was doing mainly when I first started these reactions on this channel. When I would react to football players, I thought I would react to him, but waited a little. But uh, more on Ben though. I mentioned he should have retired. In my opinion, this is the bad season for him to come back. I mean, I don't see him coming back next year. He's way too old. His arm's getting weaker. Still strong, but not as strong as he used to be. I think last year should have been it. I mean, we're, we're going to be worse this year than last year. So, I mean, how is that even possible? We're losing so many players. We just lost Bud Dupree. We lost Mike Hillen. We might even trade away Steve Nelson. We lost... I'm trying to think who else on defense. I'm trying to think. Well... Pouncey retired, are one of the best centers in the league on offense. Uh, defense, I'm trying to think. We lost another player. Oh, one of the defensive linemen we lost. But, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the Steelers are going to do this year. Hopefully just get in the playoffs because anything can happen in the playoffs. I mean, look at the Brown situation. Uh, look at the Washington football team. Obviously, they didn't win, but they went neck and neck with the Super Bowl champs. But, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Peace.